Hey, do you guys remember Engine War? Yeah, Engine War. No, no, it's not the Silent King. No, no, not War of the Spider and Fabulous Bill. No, the other one. The other one. The one with the Admech Demons? The one with the, the new Admech models. Yeah, them. The ones with the really questionable design decisions. Yes, they're the ones. I jest, of course, I jest. It's uh, Ben here from Triple Top Like Gaming, and I feel like Engine War, out of all these three specifically, has been sort of oversh overshadowed by the rest of them. Oh, I know things are happening out there in the world. Plans change, obviously, with the lockdown and whatnot, but I, I do feel that this particular part of Psychic Awakening, for me anyway, it feels like it's just been sort of there, glazed over. Like, they've released all these, all the news about War well, the Spider and Fabulous Bill, got quite a few people excited, and then they just dropped the bombshell that, you know, even though we haven't seen a model for it yet, the Silent King is due to be making a return this weekend coming. It's kind of left engine war out in the cold so you know when gw drops a little news article just reminding us the engine war is still happening you know not make are getting all these models i have to keep reminding myself like oh yeah yeah that is happening isn't it and uh, they have just done that they've dropped an article on the warmer community website well like yesterday i would have done this video Yesterday myself, but I was absolutely shattered when it came afterwards. So I'm doing it now. But and we're going to cover the the Birdmen, uh, the Patraxi, I think they're called. Again, going forward, if I butcher any names in this video, ugh, they're just impossible. But yeah, the Patraxi. Now, out of all the new range, the the silly bumper car tank, the chicken leg flyer, and the Birdmen, I feel like these these have got more of a chance of growing on me than anything else because they they've got just enough design elements to make me forgive the wings the wings are what i've got a problem with the the big membrane like wings and just i they just feel off but apart from that everything else about the model really does look really good particularly the like the sort of turbines on the back that's the kind of thing i wanted them to go for but I'm not an Admet player, so at the end of the day, pff, who gives a fuck about my opinion? But we can go through the article together. Take my hand and let's go through this article together. But first, just who are the Patraxi? The Adeptus Mechanicus leaves nothing to chance. A perfectly executed war will include units fighting in every conceivable environment against bewildering array of there. This is the problem when you're reading the shit out for the first time and you've not pre-read it before. You can fuck some shit up. A bewildering array of enemies. And every tool has its place. The Patraxi class of warriors take to the skies, punishing... Re <sighs> they fly around a lot. They fly around a lot. That's what they do. What makes the Patraxi so specialised as this fucking... You got... <sighs> Let's look at the pictures. Let's look at the pictures. <clears throat> As you can see here, like I said, the picture on the far left there, I love the turbine look, I love the sort of, they look like they're wearing sort of rubberized flight suits, I particularly love the little cod piece going on with the guy on the right, very nice, very fetching, but that entire aspect of the model, I, I, I quite like, like a sort of like rubberized World War II sort of flight suit, that's fine, particularly the way... You know, the, the, the gas mask looks, I'm a sucker for a good gas mask. Anytime I get on model machine steel cult and it's got a mask option, I'm putting the mask on. The masks just look cool. And like I say, the turbines at the back look nice. And then you get to the wings. But we don't want to talk about the wings. Deadly by design. Each new unit pushes the boundaries of how Adeptus Mechanicus look on the table. Yeah, that's true. And the Patraxi are no exception. Our divergent silhouette is nothing like anything else in the army. They share some design cues of both Sicarians and Arcocopters, but they're not exactly like each other. Like either one. Patraxi Kit builds two new units, the Stereolizers and the Skystalkers, to expand the tactical options of the armed forces of the Omnisire. They share the same stat line as well as the ability to redeploy quickly using their flight packs. Now, we've got a stat line here. And that's surprising, because I didn't think they'd be Strength 4. I thought they'd be Strength 3. Toughness 3, yeah, that reads right. They're, you know, dudes after all. Two wounds each. That's 
that's pretty decent, so I can't imagine you take a big squads of these. Imagine squads of five, maybe seven or eight, something like that, max. Leadership six, ugh. Uh, save four plus, not bad. I mean, day eight for flying units, pretty good. Movement 12, uh, weapon skill, ballistic skill three. So, yeah, that's pretty good. And the uh, Petraxi Alpha, pretty much the same stat line across the board, except it's got one extra attack and one extra leadership. I'd like to know what they mean by quickly redeploy using their flight packs. Does that mean they can... Is that just referring to the movement? Now, you know, how far they move, 12 inches? Or are they have the ability to sort of, like, jump or teleport shunt across the table? It'd be quite nice. More pictures there. Again, looking quite nice, except for the wings. Do -do -do. Phosphor torch. I think we already went through this already in a previous video, but... An automatic D6 automatically hits. Shred 4 minus 1 AP, range 12. Essentially, you got yourself a flamer there. Pretty good. And uh, depending on how many of them are armed with that. These are the sterilizers, by the way. They've all got these. Well, they can have the options for these uh, phosphor torches. I don't know if they can have any other weapon options. But basically, they've got 12 inch flamers. Which is good. 12 inch flamers is good. These guys will no doubt be able to deep strike, hit targets. Strength 4, so you're looking at lower strength units, sort of like your Gaunts, your, your mini Xenos stuff for toughness, 3 and low, the basic bog standard troops, and this this gun will, you know, really tear through their ranks. Especially if you roll the cop, you know, D6, 4 plus, you got to get 5 of them, so you're getting an average about 20 hits from doing a mass rhyme ahead, just first thing in the morning. You're going to really wipe out a, scrap, uh, a group of Gaunts like that, or at least do quite a lot of damage. After softening up the target, the sterilizer swoop down to finish them off with cruelly barbed lower limbs. Again, we saw this before. Basically, strength 4, but when they charge, they get plus 1. So the strength 5 minus 1, 1 damage. Well, strength 5 for this kind of unit ain't bad. Ain't nothing to uh, ain't nothing to talk about. And that sort of is compounded by the swooping strikes below as well. When this unit makes a charge move, I'd want the attack characteristic. So already, you're talking about 3 attacks, strength 5 minus 1 AP. That's, that's good volume. I mean, what's that in a squad? So, five, 25, 26 total attacks. Strength 5 on the charge. Not bad, not bad. I mean, that group of low armoured infantry that you just cooked alive with the, uh, your fame flowers. They're going to take the pain when you hit it with strength 5. You might, you might even be willing to sort of branch out and attack, maybe? Tough, higher toughness, toughness units, space marines, maybe if you're feeling a bit brave, go for some that's uh, quite uh, decent toughness but low AP, like your aberrants and things like that, but these guys, you don't want to get them in combat for very long. You, you ideally want to be hitting something that's not going to be able to hit you back because you're already toughness 3. Two wounds is good, but toughness 3, you, you if you get hit, you're going to feel it. And then we're moving on to... Do, do, do the sky stalkers and i think these are going to be your sort of like tank hunters scouts gunners uh maybe fletchite carbine assault five strength three so again it's sort of like you're not really going to be hunting anything that's surprising because i would have thought like i just said these would have been tank hunter sort of things but strength three gun Assault five though that's a that's a heavy weight of uh, that's a heavy weight of boom boom shoot shoot. So that's twenty five shots. Strength three, no AP though. Weight of weight of weight of shots is a thing. So you know, it's even oh yeah, it even says here in the even says here in the actual blurb about weight of shots could potentially bring down something a lot tougher than you actually want. So yeah, maybe. Arc Grenade Cluster. At the start of the shooting phase, you can select one enemy unit that this unit has moved across in this turn, roll D6 for each model unit, adding two to each result if that unit is a vehicle, and plus five if the enemy suffers one mortal wound. So, they can do mortal wounds to vehicles. So, up to five. Drop five dice, plus two if it's a vehicle, and, you know, have a four plus, well, or three plus, on three, because you're going to add two to the roll, you're going to get one more wound. So that's a decent chance you're going to do a few more wounds to a vehicle. Again, don't 
this thing, these these are more harassment units. That's not a game changing rule. I mean, if you've got a vehicle that's sort of like next, like on death's door, this might be a nice way to finish it off, but you maximum going to do five or worse to a vehicle. Most vehicles in the game have like 12. Most, you know, heavily armored vehicles. Maybe sort of like the, uh, maybe some of the Eldar, like jetpacky stuff. I don't think they're classed as vehicles. Be able to do some decent damage against them, but yeah, it seems like these guys are more like harassment units more than anything. Maybe objective grabbers. And uh, that's it. Quick one today. It's, I think everyone's really holding their breath for Silent King this weekend. But again, engine war, it is a thing, it is happening. And you know what? These these sort of like bird men, like I said, they've got more of a chance than the rest of the Rage to Ogre Army. So they're quite nice. Anime players finally get something, and demon players are getting something as well. It'll be interesting to see what the demon players get, because not getting any new models as far as I'm aware, unless they're keeping that really under wraps and quite a surprise. But it'll be interesting to see what rules updates they get. And yeah, engine war. Then war the spider, then pariah. So that's the way it is. I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye bye.